Hello and welcome to this Math Habits Skill Builder lesson on order of operations looking at decimals. If you remember the order of operations lesson before, we looked at PEMDAS, which means parenthesis, exponents, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction in that order when we solve equations. So let's look at this one. 2 tenths times 3 tenths plus 4 tenths times 2. So we start with parentheses and we've got two parts of the equation. 2 tenths times 3 tenths. Well, tenths times tenths equal hundredths. So that is six hundredths. And then 4 tenths times 2. Well, 2 lots of 4 makes 8 tenths. And when we add those together, we get 86 hundredths. So let's apply PEMDAS to this equation. We start with P for parentheses and we underline those. 2 tenths times 6 tenths and 2 tenths times 3 tenths. Well, 2 tenths times 6 tenths is going to be 12 hundredths and 2 tenths times 3 tenths is going to be 6 hundredths. And how many six hundredths make twelve hundredths? The answer is two. And here is the inverse, just to check your answer, which I recommend you do every time. So now we're going to step it up just a little bit. Take a look at this. Yes, there are a few things going on, but the steps, as always with PEMDAS, are really simple. Let's start with P for parentheses, and let's work those out. Well, 5 tenths take away 3 tenths is 2 tenths, and 3 tenths plus 6 tenths is 9 tenths. Quite simple. There are no exponents. So we will look for multiplication or division and we have one multiplication operation here. 4 times 2 tenths, 4 lots of 2 tenths is 8 tenths. So now we just have 8 tenths plus 9 tenths, which is 17 tenths, which in everyday math world is 1 and 7 tenths. And that is it for this Math Habits Skill Builder lesson on order of operations with decimals. Look out next for the Skill Builder lesson on easy strategies for multiplying decimals. And if you haven't subscribed already, you know what you should do next.